Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Yeah, in my view, XRP is still in the triangle. There is no evidence yet that the triangle is broken and that we are starting to break out and move into any of these into up or down direction. Yeah, we're currently just moving <laughs> sideways. So that is what makes people quite frustrated. However, what you can see, volatility is reducing, which again is an indicator that there will be a breakout soon and that we are moving closer to a potential breakout because you know you're getting squeezed in the end in an apex and there needs to be a breakout at some point and when you see volume and volatility reduce there will be a spike that is what we can see time and time again but in which direction will that move be well we always need to wait when we have a pattern when the a price is trading in a range in a pattern you always need to wait for a breakout anyway because it can break out in any direction. Yeah, that is just what it is. Probability in this case would be a breakout to the downside based on two things. First is the Elliott wave count, which would suggest A, B, C, D, E. That is a count for a triangle. A triangle, by the way, that we can currently see on various crypto charts and a wave E or no, the triangle would normally break out to the opposite side of the wave E. And um, that is what we're looking at here. And the other thing, the other confirmation is we are coming from a downtrend. We are officially still in a downtrend. We have not broken a downtrend or anything. So you're coming down very strongly. We are now just clearly consolidating. And that is a consolidation pattern. It is also a trend continuation pattern. And that should move to the downside. Therefore, I'm here a friend of another move down. Um, technically, it doesn't need to. Yeah, as I explained very clearly in previous videos, that XRP has fulfilled the minimum requirements for its correction. And therefore, it could also move to all time highs from here. We had a long period. And you will remember that if you've been watching my videos for months already, yeah, since November, December, there was a period where XRP had not yet fulfilled its requirements. You know, any pattern has a clear structure. Any pattern has certain requirements to fulfill. And XRP here in this overall corrective pattern in which it is, had to fulfill certain requirements. And until that, uh, until those weren't fulfilled, I was not confident to tell you that the down, that the low could be in. But from the moment on when those requirements were fulfilled, we could say that XRP has fulfilled the minimum requirements and that at any point in time, the price now can move up. Do I believe, do, do I believe it at the moment? No, not yet. I'm still looking at further downside potential here based on, again, the Elliott wave count and the fact that this is just a trend continuation pattern and based on the view that the chart looks just very weak at the moment. Yeah, there is just no strength. The bullish signals are still too weak. And as long as you are in a downtrend and you're not breaking the downtrend, you just have to assume that we are going to see further downside potential. But it is not a must. Yeah, it is not a must. Um, and it is not a must because the minimum requirements to complete the overall correction are complete. However, where are we here? In the triangle, we have this A, B, C, D, E pattern, and there are basically two possibilities now. One possibility is that we are already, fin that we have finished the wave E, and with that wave E, we also finished the wave four, and that we are now already in a move down. What would be, um, is this scenario likely? Well, what this would mean is that we are on our way here in an impulsive move down, one, two, three, four, five, which should make a lower low compared to the low on the 12th of May. So it should ideally go lower. What we don't know yet, if this is just the first impulse of something bigger, or is it uh, already the wave one? We don't know, but we can count this as a wave one, this as a wave two. And um, what makes this scenario quite likely that the wave E is already finished? Well, what makes it quite likely is that we moved down quite impulsively with this move down. And what is happening here looks quite corrective, which means a lot of overlap. Yeah, very, you know, a very um, 
weak uptrend and that just means yeah we could be here in just a corrective wave two and the next wave will be a move down to confirm this scenario or we all we can do here is adding puzzle pieces together to make this scenario more likely uh, we would need to break below 38.4 cents yeah that would be oh no sorry actually it is below 38.2 cents this is the wave d low so this would be a very good indication that yes we are following this route because a break of the wave d would mean um, that we are on our way down and would be an indicator that actually the downtrend is starting uh, the last leg down yeah of this overall correction however a confirmation would only occur if we break below the wave below only when we cr cross the wave b the triangle is officially broken so until we do that and that level is at 37 and a half cents we don't really have confirmation um, the other possibility is that the wave e just hasn't finished yet and in that scenario should we move above the current wave e high at 41.7 cents there will be upside potential all the way up to 43 and a half cents to the wave c high yeah and only if we go above the wave c high it will invalidate the entire triangle so these are the two possibilities i'm currently looking at here in the triangle scenario um, an invalidation of the triangle also i need to say that very clearly an invalidation of the triangle to the upside would not be bullish it would however unlock prices first of all to 46 and a half cents but it would not be bullish it would also just be another bearish wave count and it would just extend the wave four correction further currently there is no proof evidence whatever you like that the low is in and i'm still looking here at further downside potential even if even if we invalidate the triangle to the upside and we might move to 46 and a half cents but even then i would expect from here another move down that is just what it is and where we are and um, how it's going at the moment yeah this is still um, what I'm looking at here and um, yeah overall I just don't have the evidence don't have the view yet that the correction is over it's a bit similar to what we did here from the end of January to the end of March 22 which was for Bitcoin an even clearer sideways movement but um, XRP here as well very similar yeah it just moved up um, weak weakness in the chart and I didn't tell you at any point that the low was in here so I also expected a further move down so equally here even if we move down a little bit more we can still expect to move down F the first time I would really consider strongly that the low here was in for XRP would be if we move out of the yellow target box of this entire correction and that would be above 55 cents if we can do that that would at least be a good indication that bullishness is returning that the low could be in and we can be much more confident above 92 cents until we get there there is still a lot of downside potential so that is just how the chart is looking and the last leg down i mentioned it before where could that end you know if we really break that triangle to the downside where could we go to so i think in the first instance we could go to 18 cents here which is that previous swing low here from December 2020 I think that would be significant support and hopefully here we will end the overall correction yeah and that is my view here currently about XRP hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye mm -hmm.